Good morning, happy Friday. It's Friday Live! Are we gonna scrapbook? Yes! Um, lots of, of positivity and joy and sunshine to your day today because it's sunny here today. Yes! Um, very exciting. Right, today I've got a bit of a plan to do a bunch of layered, I've said tags. I'm not sure if they're gonna be tag shaped or like three by four shaped. Layered rectangles? They might be tags. We might punch holes in them. Um, but with so many cut aparts in this kit, I wanted to give that idea a try. So we're gonna do something like that. And I've got um, Monday's page all finished on the desk. So if you want no spoilers and you haven't watched Monday, then close your eyes now. <laughs> but here is Monday's all finished. And then Monday, Finishing this layout brought um, brought about a whole, oh my goodness, adventure? I don't know what else to call it. Um, so what I, this is an older photo, it's from 2018. And I was thinking, I'm sure I've scrapped some photos from this particular day, but I can't remember what I wrote in the journaling. And I don't need to remember what I wrote in the journaling because I have this process of going to look at the pages before and after where it will sit in the album and um, so that I can go and look and get the journaling and um, like get it in my head meaning that I can see what I've written already so that I don't just write the same thing again because that's what I will do if I scrapbook the same photo and um, or, well, if I scrapbook the same photo by accident, there have been times where I've accidentally then written the journaling almost verbatim. It's, it's mad. Um, but what I wanted to do was um, to kind of fill in the gap of the story. And that's how I use this whole process. And I couldn't find the album that this would fit in. And I was absolutely beside myself because this is my whole process. And then I had a cup of tea and realized, Hold on, you have this process except there was a gap when all your albums were in storage, when downstairs was in building mode. And um, you just put all the layouts in a box. <gasps> so um, yes, I discovered, I had kind of forgotten that I had packed all of these layouts away in a stack and I've put that right this week. So you can see the whole adventure. I've made it a stories highlight because I, I was documenting the process as I went on Instagram stories, but of course those expire after 24 hours. So if you go to um, my Instagram, which is instagram.com slash Shamel, now the first little circle that comes up above my feed, so under my name, but above the square pictures, it says, I think I called it album talk because I couldn't fit album philosophy in the number of characters it'll let you have. Um, and so I've, I've put everything there. Um, so, um, yeah, I've put all of the, the story so far there. And I think today or tomorrow I'll add a few finishing thoughts there. Um, or if you have any more questions, I've tried to answer all the questions that have come in, but I think I have two or three that I haven't answered yet. So I'll put those there. Anyway, you can find that there. And now I have, um, I have the page all finished because now it has an album. And the, the happy slash sad discovery I realized I made along this is um, my 2018 Florida trip is almost entirely unscrapped. I'm not quite sure how I did that. I have like eight layouts from an entire trip and that is not like me. And I love the photos from this trip. So you have that to look forward to. I'm gonna be scrapping a whole bunch of those, but not today, but yes, there's gonna be more from that trip. I need to, to practice up, or practice up, plan up, and figure it out. Anyway, good morning. Thank you to everybody who's here and been patient with me starting today. There's Mel and Jean and Jessica and Joanne and Linda and Karen and Sarah and Mel and Orange Gina and Sophia and Elaine and all the rest of you, anybody I've missed. Thank you so much for coming and anybody who watches from the future, Hello out there in Tomorrowland. I'm so glad you're here. Right, let's have a look then at what I'm going to scrap today, which is this photo. I know it's another single photo, and in fact, is it a similar size? Not quite, but similar. Um, but this was one that I discovered in my album audit that I went through and I was like, oh, there's a gap here, and I've even left the gap for the page. And I've written the journaling because I wrote the journaling when I took the photo 
and I hold on. And I um, posted the journaling for it on Instagram way back last March. So I know it has quite a lot of writing, which is why I was thinking tags could be a really useful tactic with this page because I needn't put all the words in one box. I could split up the writing and have it take as many tags as it needs to take because I could put them all in a little pocket. Does that seem like, or a series of pockets? Does that seem like a good strategy for lots of words? That's what I'm thinking. No, it's fine that I left this so long because this photo is me dressed in the spirit of Orange Bird, who you may not know. I think he's a bit of a niche character. Um, so he's a bit of advertising from Disney World. Um, and yeah, but the story is that um, Orange Bird is something I really, really remember from my childhood trip with my grandparents. Um, and then last year's Disney Bound Challenge, I think one day, I think this was for like 60s style day. And I have this orange vintage dress. Um, and so I put it with the other colors that make up the orange bird. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, oh, and um, dun dun dun, one, um, one last question, or one, oh, last question? No, nothing last, ah, oh, words are hard. Um, yes, so the dress, <laughs> the dress is my old studio curtains. Um, and I gave this, the fabric, the fabric had sat in my own to sew pile for a long time, and then I wasn't getting around to it. And I gave the fabric to the lady who runs Silly Girl Club, which is a like independent, fashion thing where she makes stuff out of old sheets and curtains that's her thing silly girl club makes look them up anyway um and uh, <laughs> i gave them to her at a market one day and we did a little trade and then she made my curtains into a couple of dresses and she took them to a market and sold them there and then she had one that was sitting on her website and her website always sells out really really quickly but she doesn't do a lot of Hello Kitty. She does a lot more um, Disney and The Simpsons type things, things that you get on old sheets. And, and <laughs> this dress sat there. When I saw it go up, I was like, oh, I could buy my curtains back as a dress. But maybe that's a bit too much. So I didn't. And then it was still there 48 hours later. And I was like, this is my sign. <laughs> I need to buy my curtains back as a dress. So it's my old studio curtains. And now I wear it as a dress. And it makes me very happy. Right. Hi. My name is Chamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means any time a scrapbook on the internet is considered advertising, and legally I have to make sure you're aware of that. So thank you for coming to watch my hashtag advertising, as always. If you ever have any questions, leave me a question wherever you want to leave a question, and I will get back to you as best I can. Um, and you might want to read the description box, which will help explain how I pick a set of supplies, put it up if you want to shop for it, um, either from the store or from your stash, or if you have a local store, go there and support them. Um, yeah, and then you can pick and choose which pieces you want, and you can follow along with whichever layouts you want, and then we do the whole thing again the next month. So I use one set of supplies for a whole month and a scrapbook live twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. I think that's everything. Everything's linked below and I really appreciate you shopping through my affiliate link. It makes all of this possible and also makes the guest artist series on my blog possible. So that's at chamel.com and you can go see other scrapbookers making stuff and hopefully get inspired. Let's scrapbook. Yay. Right. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. I love that quite a few of you know who Orange Bird is. This is amazing. You are my people. Let's all have Dole Whip together. Yes. Okay. Let's make a sketchy sketch. A sketchy sketch. Oh. And we got a spammer already, but I'm going to go bye-bye. Woo. -bye. Disappear. <gasps> I'm so close to the end of my note. Oh, I'm closer than I thought because I... Oh, oh. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27
two, I have to, three, three. I have to get a new notepad. What am I going to do? Stationary crisis. Okay. Square. Don't get distracted, Shemel. Nailing it. It's a square. Photo has this sort of um, leading line. You see, don't draw on your photo. Um, the fence going that way and I'm facing that way. So the photo is going to go toward the right so that that leading line brings your eye into the page, not out of it. Yeah. Might help if I do it this way. Yeah. Look, I'll put the, um, the smiley face on the right-hand side. <laughs> okay. And then these layered things. <laughs> Tags. Um, so what I was thinking was maybe two layered, this is, that's apparently how I draw layered now, items like this on that side. Maybe I make a room for one over here, but maybe it tucks under. So maybe I do three stacks of things. I think so. Okay. Title is going to fit down here. And the journaling is going to be tucked in. Yes? So that actually, sketch-wise, is quite simple. So I think might also need a bit of this kind of treatment. Yeah, a bit of pattern top and bottom to frame it up. I think I like that best. Okay, so there's gonna be a little embellishment here, a little embellishment here, lots of embellishment on these three stacks of stuff. Probably a little embellishment here. And there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sarah says, are you going to keep all the little doodle sketches? If not, I reckon you could raffle them off. Oh, you're so funny. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, if you want a screen cap of today's amazing sketch, here you go. Dun, dun, dun. Let's, let's get started. Still haven't figured out what to do with my Kit Kat Club sticker, but I'll do something with it. Okay, oh, let's swap out back from black ink to brown ink for edges today because this is warmer. So go back to brown. Change my booper over. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, I always forget when I open the drawers, it kind of rolls everything for you if I'm not really super gentle. Let's look. I want to start with that paper that I know it's peachy, but let's start with the peach slash orange paper. This one. Yeah. Okay. So when they're cut open, yes, they definitely look like peaches, not oranges because they have stones, but I think we can make it work. This definitely needs to come into play. So let's do that. Oh, and let's have this one, all the juicy details. I think that can be an orange joke. And right there at the left of that is one that's a tag. So let's have those three. Let's swap this back so I can see your comments. Okay. I love that some of you are starting to, to, um, to doodle sketches. Let's make a little plan. Doesn't have to be super authentic or accurate or detailed. It's just a little plan. Just an idea. Okay, that one and this one. We'll see what it's going for. So we're gonna have three from here. What else we got? Dun, dun, dun. Not that one. Oh, sorry. 
don't know who I'm apologizing to more. The punch that I knocked over. You who just are listening and had to hear that, or the adhesive Avenger downstairs, who probably jumped. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think this... I need to see if that kind of lettering style is somewhere else in the collection because that one is not a particularly good size. But I feel like the vibe of it with that dress is kind of cool. So I'll just kind of keep that in mind for the moment and see if it's in the sticker book or anything. Otherwise, I might come back and try and figure out how to make that size work. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's an orange one. Let's have that. Yes. Let's have the yes. Because, you know, if Orange Bird comes out and says, would you like a citrus swirl? My answer is yes. So citrus swirl being frozen orange, like between a slush and a soft serve, <laughs> made from good orange juice, and vanilla ice cream it's together. And this is a flavor that I always associate with my granddad. One, because we had it together at Disney World when, we were, when I was little. He wasn't little, but <laughs> I was little. Um, but then when we went home, there was a local dairy at the top of the hill where they lived. It's now McDonald's. But back in the day, it used to be a locally owned little dairy ice cream shop. And they did checkerboard ice cream. I don't know if any Americans also have this or if it was a totally small regional thing. But checkerboard ice cream was um, made like checkerboard, obviously, but it was orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream. And so the flavor combination was the same, basically. I'm really not, I'm going, do I want that piece set? It's okay. I'm cutting into all these. Um, and, oh, wrong line, wrong line. I cut the wrong line. Focus, Jamel. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, I... This. Um... Yeah, so we used to go for a sneaky checkerboard ice cream at the soda counter. Good times. Childhood. Childhood positivity right there. Okay, those flowers are going to get layered in. What else we got? What else we got? Do, 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 do. Not feeling anything from that one. These kind of um, style of pieces will um, will appear other places in like in the I've got these in puffy stickers and stuff like that. So these might end up there, but not from this sheet is my thought. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start with those. Let's let's start there. Okay. La, 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 la. And I've seen somebody else um somebody else mentioning dreamsicles. Yes, dreamsicle um is definitely that that flavor profile. And I once had a I had a dreamsicle perfume and it was amazing. <laughs> Right, so I got, okay, that's definitely going to get cut up. Let's get a background sheet out so that I just don't make it too big. Like this. 
I'm really liking this one as over here because the framing of this kind of mirrors the framing of that. It might be a stretch visually, but that's what I see. So this gives me the left hand bottom corner and this is pulling back up to the top right. And so I want this one to be up toward the top to give some weight visually to what is here. So that's the order I want them in, yeah. Okay, this is enough to get started. And I've got these bits here, okay. Let's edge these. Aww, China girl's husband S. <laughs> Anytime she watches Scrub Again, is it Chevelle? Aww, shout out to your hubby. <laughs> right, um, and this is cracking me up. So it looks in the comments that there there is a technique that it that is now known as doing a Chevelle, <laughs> which you know sounds vaguely rude, but hopefully is not uh, like a I've ruined a page means doing a chameau. Oh no, it's about using more layers when you get to a, a point where you're like, is this finished or does it need more? Okay, that's acceptable. I was worried that I'd read back up and it was like, I got to a page and then I had to tear it in half and start again. Um, you know, but that's, I only did that once. I only did it once. But adding more I do all the time. Fabulous, fabulous. I love it. Okay, phew. Hello, Jolene. Right. This one is gonna need paper around it. I almost wonder about putting yellow around it. because so I've got the green in here. I've obviously got the orange. Um, I'm adding in a little bit of pink, but that's not in the outfit. But yellow is definitely part of the orange bird aesthetic. So have I got a yellow B-side in here or is that not a thing? It might not be a thing. Stripey one. It's not really a thing, no. Okay. But the April calendar card is yellow. Oh, it's very yellow. But I wouldn't, I'd have to splice it. I can splice it, that's fine. Or use, the, hold on, is this more exciting as a yellow? But it's only gonna be a little bit of yellow. Oh, decisions, decisions. That one, or this one, plain. Plain or not plain, that is the question. Do you have a preference? Oh, sorry. Um, okay, I've missed a question, Laura. Okay, I'm missing some part of the conversation here, Laura, so help me out. So Laura's talking about adding stuff to her shopping cart and letting it stock up and then, um, and then checking out. What is it that you want to know? Like, does that still work? What you could do is you could leave it all in your cart and then when you go to pay, you could, um, when you go to pay right before you check out, just use the affiliate link then before you check out. Does that make make any sense.
Yeah, so, right, so Laura wanted to know if the affiliate link works. So it stays for a little while. I don't quite, it, it might be 10 days, it might be two days, I don't know, and I'm not sure that it always stays the same. Um, like some, some companies change their, I don't think scrapbook.com does change their, um, their cookie length, but I know I get notices sometimes from different companies that like the fine print has changed and it'll be that the number of days, um, like T public changes theirs all the time. So sometimes if I post a link to T public, it might work for a month and sometimes it might just work for that day or the next day. So I think the safest thing to do if you want to support anybody's affiliate link is if you've got stuff sitting in your cart right before you check out, go use their affiliate link then. Oh, and the, the most important bit is if you then go looking for coupon codes, this doesn't really apply to somewhere like scrapbook.com, I think, but you know those sorts of sides, sites that just have like loads of discount codes? If you use one of those and apply the discount code, anybody that you had clicked through earlier as an affiliate, they get knocked out. And that company that publishes the coupon codes, they get your sale. That's how they can do that. And that's how that's a business. So yeah, I would say um, if there's somebody that you're wanting to support, then just use that right before you check out. I think I'm gonna take these all the way to the edge, but I want the orange on that edge, not the white. Gonna be like that. Okay, let's layer some stuff in here. So I've got this floral. So I'm thinking I can put a little bit of journaling actually there on the front and then the longer story tucked behind. Tina says T Public is a new place to shop. Well, um, it not new per se. T Public is where you can get my the T-shirts that I do that say scrapbook, uh, scrapbooking is my superpower. That's where you can get that. Um, to be honest, I haven't posted a link to it in a long time. <laughs> um, so I can do that for you if you really want. Um, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to get rich off T Public sales. <laughs> But it's kind of fun to draw a t-shirt and they, um, it's print on demand. So I kind of like that there's not, like it is new clothing, but obviously it's not, um, it's not me guessing and buying 500 t-shirts and then them sitting here and never getting sold. And what do I do with them in the end? They only print it when you buy it. Yeah. Um, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Lynn was watching me on the TV. Oh my goodness. Right. Yeah. What else are we going to have? Let's look at the sticker book and the chipboards and the puppies. I got all these different pieces. And I ended up using one of these little pieces on the last layout. And I think I might use one here too. So I wanted to see if I've got that kind of groovy 60s lettering style that was in the um, that was on the pattern paper is it in here anywhere sorry we are both still still in the cough it out phase of recovery <laughs> um dun, dun, dun. oh i think i need to use the ice cream motif in the layering somewhere that's relevant to the story. These pieces will be good, but I'm not seeing that textile, text style, not textile. <laughs> um, the roller skate is quite groovy. It's not hugely relevant other than it, like as a thematic timing kind of thing. Oh, and this it's in a better color over here. The lighter one's better than the darker one in this particular layout. Okay, we got chipboard ice cream. Let's have that. Uh, 
So we're going to do this. And we're going to have this orange heart. Let's have a smiley face at some point. And what else from here? What does that floral that I just cut out look like? Looks like that. What? One of these. Oops, I just took some backing with me, but I think we'll live. Okay. And definitely, where's my block? I need something to stick things to. Definitely this one. I think this one too. I don't know what we think about roller skate or the sunshine. I'm gonna do the small puffy happy faces. This floral piece. <laughs> oh, so many things to mix together. Yes. Okay. <laughs> China, what's his name? I will. He needs a proper shout out. China's husband has made it. Made her rewind for his shout out three times. What's his name? What's your name, man? Here's an orange camera. Let's have an orange camera. And I am kind of thinking this sunshine. And this rainbow is orange heavy. I'm, oh, okay, I'm almost there. I'm gonna start sticking stuff come back for more layers. <laughs> I need one more heart though. Let's have, what color heart can I find? Oh, and these were useful. Okay. Come back to that in a second though. Hearts. You're looking for hearts, Shamal. Do not get distracted. Do not pass go. Look for hearts. There's a green one. That's what I wanted. Okay. Got it. Let's, let's do at least one of these here now. These I wanted to show you because that's what I ended up using to make this title more legible because when I put the pink onto that floral, you couldn't read it. So I cut out one of these. Now they have nice little frilly poster stamp edges, but I didn't have a, a hole punch that was the right size to get it right, so I just cut it into a rectangle. Ah, <sighs> there we go. His name is Rick. All right. Special shout out to Scrappy Rick. And I, I don't know what what else what else we should say. You are you are a loyal scrapbooking supporter. And and we're here for you, Scrappy Rick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being around. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry, Claire. Um, Claire wants me to not get Hamilton stuck in her head because she's only just got it out. But WB has next week off school. And today, oh, I wasn't going to stick them down yet. It's okay. I'll just do it later. I was just going to stick this later. Okay. Um, yeah, so WB today for his last day of school, they get this like extra long playtime on the playground. And he and his friends are putting on a production. Of Hamilton. He is playing Hamilton <laughs> and the kid who sits across from him is playing Aaron Burr and here's the funniest part. WB is the shortest kid in his year. The boy who's playing Aaron Burr is the tallest kid in the year. <laughs> so the kid who's playing Aaron Burr is like my height. <laughs> um, so yes it has just been 
a joy after a joy. It's so funny. And he was rehearsing last night. And just very, very funny. Okay. What's going to go on top of that floral? So now here comes the hard part. If you want to do lots of layers and stuff, it means that things get covered up. So we can have, oh yes, we love this floral, but then if we want to layer, we're going to cover it up. So I'm just mentally preparing you. Is this the same size? Because this one would pop up better than this one. This is thick. This is thin. They are the same size. When I pulled this one out, for some reason I thought it was smaller, but it's not. So if they're the same, I'm going to take the thicker one because I want to pop it up with puppy elves. Oh, Josephine said, missed the beginning. Yes, so um, I haven't shared the very first one, the one I did a week ago today. I haven't shared that one yet. I will share that probably Monday. Um, but the second one, the one from Monday, from this Monday is all done and looks like that. But yeah, there's a whole big thing about it and what it started um, over on my Instagram, but it was on stories, so it has expired, but I put it in the stories highlights. So it's called Album Talk. Right. Oh my goodness. Rick has gone to record the shout out and send it to the family WhatsApp chat. <laughs> it gets better and better. Right. I left the orange flower showing. Now, over here, what I'm going to do is cut it apart and put it back together again. Sort of. I know this freaks you out. Don't worry. So, this white box is not what's going to be there. There's going to be another layer. You could do this with a craft knife if you're good with a craft knife. Let's remember, Shamel is not good with craft knife. So I use my scissors. I know to those of you who are good with a craft knife, this is tedious to watch because you're like, I could just do that with a craft knife. Why aren't you doing that with a craft knife? Because I only cut myself with any reliability when I use a, cut, a craft knife. But scissors, I'm good with. And scissors, we get along just fine. So what I want to do is take this so that I can put something else down here and that's going to lay over the top. You with me? You with me? So let's find some colorful B-side to go in there. Which one am I going to go for? So could go with that black floral again. I can use this cheers y'all because I might say cheers here, but I don't say y'all. So can use the B side of that. Okay. To match this, yes? Now, how big does it need to be? It's going to be tucked under here, so I'm not worried about that side. Just need to make it the right length. <laughs> Claire has decided Scrappy Rick is a legend and we should all be more Rick. Can I get this to do what I wanted to do? Oh, yeah, but the wrong way. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm sure I cut that side already. Oh, I did, but I still didn't get it anywhere near where it needed to be. Oh, let's try again. What are you doing, Shamel? You'll get it soon. Okay, 
it's going to be like this, but I'm not worried about that bottom edge being tidy because there's going to be a border sticker at the bottom. But I am worried about the top edge being tidy because that's not going to have this piece. Okay, now I need to ink this before I stick them together. Otherwise, this edge will really stick out as being different from all the rest. So bend that back. Elaine's husband doesn't like accents. Rude. <laughs> he should be more Rick. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fine. Oh, see, that's what I get. I be I I I, I do one moment of sarcasm and I make a mistake. I have white showing off the side edge. This edge is going to be tucked under, so I'm not worried about it. This edge is having a border sticker. So let's get the border stickers out. Oh, Rena says she just got adhesives from Amazon. What's your go-to value rolling adhesives today. I, I'm not sure that I am an expert in value adhesives. I tend to get very ticked off with value adhesives for not coping. So this is what I use, the Kokyu dot liner. Um, it's Japanese and I just buy the refills. But I have in my scrapbook.com cart a new adhesive from them. I have not tried it yet. I'm going to order it and see how it goes and report back because they have a tape runner and I used it when I was filming there and I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. And this is not against them. Lots of places have the kind where it's a roller like this, but it's like it lays down. a. It's not a sticker. It's, it's not like the flat sticker tabs, the photo tabs that we used to use. It's, it's like a line of glue. Do you know what I mean by this? It's not dots. And when I used to use the American Crafts dots, we had the same thing where they had a line of glue in the lineup. And they were like, but this works really well here and the dots don't work where we are. But they did not work for me. The dots work for me and the line glue doesn't. The line glue falls apart. And I think it's a climate issue. I really, really do. So um, they, scrapbook.com have added a dot to their lineup. So I have put one in my cart to place with my next order and then I will report back. Um, but right now this is all I use. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's everything answered there. Right, border stickers, border stickers. Hearts. Oh, this is that. So I could do, oh, but then they'd just be next to each other. No, I won't do that. Let's do this. Cool. Yes. Why, yes, Shamel, it's cool. So this one is going to be going over here. And then what can we put in the middle there? Well, we could put this big rainbow. Or we could put the camera. Oh, oh, oh. Could we combine the rainbow and the orange or are they too big? Oh, we can do them both. Okay. So rainbow, let's figure out where this is going to be. It's going to be like that. Rainbow toward the left side. In fact, let's bring it all the way over to go underneath. Orange. I know it's a peach, but we're going to have it be an orange here. Um, oh, well done, Mel. Mel has started doing some layout videos on her own channel. Cool. Dun, dun, see. Lots of votes for dots in the in the 
in the comments. I don't know if we just are drawn to each other. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then this one. Over that. Yes, but this end will need a papio. By the way, in addition to the um, the album chat that happened over on Instagram stories this week, that is where I post things that are really time related. Like so, things like scrapbook.com offers that are twenty four hours and really quite worthwhile. Like they did a free shipping code in the middle of this week. That's where I put those. Um, so I don't, and so I did also put it on my blog this week. Um, but it's expired now because they tend they, they tend to be really short time spans. But just in case you wonder where I share those sorts of things, that's where. Okay. We're getting there. I'm starting to feel a layered vibe happening. Orange Gina says, do you still use your Instax camera? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Um, I tend to use it a lot more in the summer because um, it works a lot better with the, um, the lighting that we have here. Our winters are so dark that it doesn't work as well. Um, and I'm more tempted to use, I, have, I haven't got it out lately. I should get it out. I have the little um, Instax printer where you can take pictures that you've taken on any device and print them out as an Instax. That's better for winter photos here, um, but we tend to use it in the summer. I have one, WB has one. <laughs> um, yes, Kokiu is the name of the adhesive that I use. Yep. Okay. So then those other hearts will come up here, but I don't wanna put those on until I have, um, until I've stuck stuff down. Okay. I'm thinking this could do with a nice little orangey glow coming out from behind the layers. That's why I haven't stuck any of this down yet. I need to work out how I'm layering this one. I think this is part of it. I'm gonna come down here and then there's just gonna be this little bit of, of writing it's there, as in there's gonna be other pieces that tuck behind it, okay. Like that, yep. Which then gives me just this one that I haven't, of the chipboard. But I think that's too big over there. Oh, but I was gonna do those little pieces up top and bottom, so that's where that'll go, okay. Right, and then pieces that are going to go behind. Sorry if I feel like I'm not saying much because I'm trying to work out all the little details. Um, oh yes, that's going to fit nicely there. Can I do like a little bundle of them? Okay, so I'm going to stick these two together and make this a pocket. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so this, oh, okay, that's going to need Different. That is not sticky at all. Okay, fair warning. The chipboard in this is not super sticky. Right, sorry, that kind of shocked me. <laughs> Just how not sticky it was. So this is going to stick to that. I might move that camera. Then this is going to be a pocket. So that's gonna have adhesive three sides there and I'll do it with super sticky. Um, Okay, so then I need to work out where the ink's gonna go. These are gonna go inside, yes. Okay, I am making progress now. Oh my goodness, Rick is joining in here. He's actually logged in with his own account, Rick. Hello, Scrappy Rick. And he says, my first comment ever on YouTube. I am so honored. Everybody be more Rick. Okay. Um, <laughs> firstly, my wife loves you. I love her back. 
More importantly, when will Glitter Girl return? And noticeably, a when, not an if, like, or will, you know? This wasn't a when, a will Glitter Girl return. This was a when will Glitter Girl return. Interesting. So, um, I have a friend who writes comic books, like, for real big time comic books. And I was wondering the other day, is there a naming convention in the comic book world, sorry, comic world, when they kind of reboot the multiverse kind of thing? So like we have Spider-Man and then we have Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, and all of these different versions. Is there a naming convention where that adjective has, has to mean something in particular? I'm just saying, if Glitter Girl were to evolve into a new multiverse, what, what would she be? So, hmm. I mean, the best way for Glitter Girl to, to um, return would be corporate sponsorship. <laughs> Always. That's how Glitter Girl existed. So we'll see. Um, but I like your enthusiasm and I like your confidence. I need a border strip that's going to go top and bottom. And I need to stop laughing <laughs> that Rick bothered to log in. Amazing. All right, have I cut this one up yet? No. Um... No. Which one is it gonna be? I suppose it could be that black floral again, couldn't it? Hold on. Right. <laughs> Where have I put the black floral? Here. Okay. That's what it needs to be. Top and bottom strips. Okay. Now, the big question. Cut or torn? But it's a trick question because I've already decided. <laughs> Cynthia says, <laughs> we, Glitter Girl needs a, a guest a guest appearance, like to do a guest star slot on a live. I don't know if you've ever, you know, talked to, to Peter Parker and Spider-Man at the same time. Can they do a live stream together? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yes or no? Should it be torn or should it be cut? Everything else is a little bit more orderly, actually. I'm not worried about that because I'm quite happy to save that beautiful torn piece for another page. So I could just come back to that and do it with a straight line. So, oh, and, and um, interesting adjectives that people ha have chosen that we should just stick with convention and do amazing glitter girl. Um, or we could do <laughs> glorious glitter girl. <laughs> oh, quite a few people have said glorious. Um, <laughs> glitter girl 2.0. She'd be on 3.0 now. The gold glitter girl. Or is that too narrow? <laughs> glitter glam girl. Um, <laughs> Cynthia says, you are a theater wizard. You can make it work. <laughs> Oh, your confidence is, your confidence in me is brilliant. Right, torn, it, it, it is, so I'm going to, uh, oh, <laughs> Carol was like, remember the glitter scissors, what, these glitter scissors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same glitter scissors, still going. And um, although Glitter Girl used, 
Are they here? Oh, I think they might be downstairs. Glitter girl used orange handled scissors. This strangely said Chamel Lane on the blades. What's that about? Glitter girl scissors said Chamel, the little thief. She stole my scissors. Don't stick it down yet, Chamel. You're gonna ink first. Okay, so that's gonna go top and bottom. Yes. Now, inkiness, pencil. Sparkling glitter girl. Groovy glitter girl. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Okay, so I'm just giving myself an idea here of where things are going to be so that I get the ink in vaguely the right position. And I'm going to have it be there and down here. So I'm just making some dots. Okay, so that can go away for a moment. Now, color. What we got? <clears throat> so I went through these on Monday's video. So that's the orange that I like with this set. But I think gonna need some lightning so lightning <laughs> lightning McQueen kerchow not that kind of lightning lightning so I'm gonna add in scattered straw but I need to go side to side so I need a mat I need a mat <laughs> Lane says uh, does glitter girl need a whole new name because she's not a girl she's a woman <laughs> do you know when I had no idea of how much Glitter Girl was going to catch on when I pitched the idea, I never, like, I was being very silly in the pitch. And then once we were kind of in the flow of it and it was kind of, I'm like, oh my goodness, here I am. And I've, I've gone and infantilized myself <laughs> by giving myself a, a name that's girl. <laughs> but, whoops. Alliteration got the best of me. Okay. I'm come over here. I'm gonna blend the colors straight on the mat, I think, unless I've got that little mat handy. Do I? Okay. And I was uh, gonna bring in maybe the stencil, maybe not. I'm actually, Vaguely, vaguely tempted to use a cloud, orange and yellow clouds. My mind might be a little, a little silly. Okay, I'm looking to see if anything is kind of, I, don't, I might just add a polka dot. So do like a blend and then a polka dot on top. There's a polka dot. Okay, I want something round for oranges. <laughs> okay, so let's do, my bloopers. Okay. Oh, there it went. I, like, I know I knocked the orange one off the desk. Where did it go? It's here. And the yellow is here. Yes, yes. Okay. Where did I put all the handles? Here we go. Do, do. <laughs> oh, somebody said, who was it? Sophia said she didn't have an alert. Sorry. Um, because I was trying to work out the schedule for February and I've come up with an answer, but I need to set it live today. So next week, I mentioned WB doesn't have school next week. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be a Friday video and a Monday video, but they're not going to be live. They're going to be pre-recorded. And, um, yeah, so, um, I'm just going to blend this out in yellow first. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so they're going to be pre-recorded and then the rest will be live. Yeah. So same time. I'm going to see. It depends. I think Monday, quite likely that I'll be able to join in in the comments. Friday, less likely, but still possible. I might be on a train. Um, so I'm, I'm going to film them today. Straight after this, I'm just going to keep going. Um, yeah. I thought I was going to have another... Have to be off at 11 for another call, but it got moved to 1.30 and I'm so glad. <sighs> also might try to sort my nails. I got stressed out the other day and picked all my nail varnish. Why do I do it? Is anybody else, somebody who messes with their nails and they get stressed out? Okay. Blendy, blendy, blend. That's enough ink. I don't need to re-ink that. I just need to blend it out. Then I'm going to take this and add some orange dots. I don't want it to be like super bright, so just starting below where it'll be seen to see what the color mix is like. Oh, Distressed Oxides, we love you and how your colors blend so beautifully. You are so pretty. Okay. Yeah, like, like, like. Okay. <laughs> it is okay to be a bear of little brain, Sophia. Oh my goodness, I hear you. Don't worry. And, you know, it's not like it's going to disappear. The videos stay there. Oh, that one ended up like with a really strong row, so I'm going to realign there and then add a little bit here. I like that better. Okay, then I just need this side over here. And again, let's soften. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then bottom row. Oh, <laughs> Orangina says, would you be on the train to Disneyland Paris? No, not going to Disneyland Paris this, um, oh, this week. Um, in fact, I don't have any DLP bookings at the moment. Hope it works um but um no just to see we're just we're gonna do um, i think we're gonna do the south bank children's festival but meeting up with friends so. in fact the other day when i did a shout out to abby the the youngling who's become a scrapbooker her mom used to scrap and her mom's still friends a still friend even though she doesn't scrap i mean what's that about but I, I have managed to stay friends with people who've given up scrapbooking, believe it or not. Um, shocking. Anyway, Abby, if you watch this one, I'll see you soon. We're going to go, go hang out together. I'm very excited about that. Okay. Orange. Oh, should I do polka dots both sides or maybe just leave the polka dots at the top? Just the yellow at the bottom and no polka dots? 
Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Claire, you're 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 breaking my little brain now. What's DLC? Or did, did you mean like DLR? Oh, Disneyland California. I get it. DLR, Disneyland Resort. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I have a, I have a Florida booking, but not a California booking. Right. Okay. Sorry. DLC. I was like, what? What is DLC? It's funny how we get stuck in our little patterns. Right, so I'm just going to add then a little bit to the bottom and top edges. I'm going to, mm, ah, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so there's going to be this yellow glow here. And here. But then, but then orange here where the more layered pieces are going to be and a row of polka dots here very subtle polka dots like it yes then same up here but this corner Okay, so that's my background. It's quite joyful. Oh, wrong lid, wrong lid. There. So that was carved pumpkin and scattered straw. Right. Which now means I can start sticking stuff. <laughs> Kelly! Claire says, it's always DLC, Disneyland California. Well, that is definitely off the record because on the record, Disney totally refers to it as Disneyland Resort. And if you ever have to do travel writing for Disney, it is always <laughs> Disneyland Resort. Walt Disney World Resort, Disneyland Paris Resort, yeah, um, and, and so on and so forth with the other. But that's like their, their full names, yeah. <laughs> Sophia says the gaming world that their family is in, DLC stands for something in there. So, oh, I didn't do the yellow quite high enough here. Um, let's see if I can just add a little bit. Over. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Claire. You know how frustrating it is and we, um, we waited a while for for concerns and but it's, I'm still not being like outwardly loud about it because uh, yeah, I don't wanna, don't want it to go wrong and we might have to change our mind. I hope that you're able to get a bit more freedom soon. Okay, and then my pocket I'm going to put on with some super sticky. I had it right here. Where? Oh, I covered it up. Some super sticky, extra strong, so that I can. Um, put stuff in and out of the pocket without worrying about it falling over, but which way is up? That way is up. Yeah, so when you do a pocket, it's nice and easy. You just need to make sure that your adhesive doesn't go along the top. And of course, it also depends on what you're putting in your pocket. So I'm just putting tags, so they're not gonna fall through any little gaps. But if you're doing something that has tiny little things like if you make a pocket to put a lock of hair in it you want to make sure that um, you don't have gaps or you're just going to have hair collect at the bottom of your age protector and that's not what we wanted so let's set this So now that's open at the top. Yeah. Now, where'd my ice cream go that had no glue? And do I want to move that camera? Yes. I'm going to tuck the camera just under here. Ice cream. I do like the ice cream aligned here though. So I just add another piece in here. I had some flowers. So camera. Flowers. Ice cream. It's like all the good things. <laughs> things Chevelle says yes to. Cameras, <laughs> flowers, ice cream, sunshine. <laughs> right, this needs more adhesive. So that's going to go there, and then the other hearts. Gonna go up there with some papules. Ah, yes, Kelly says <laughs> when Kelly was living in Alaska, Disney people always write AK for Animal Kingdom, but of course, it's Alaska. <laughs> All right, I want a floral piece to come down from there. And I, I've used all the ones that are on here, so I can go back to my sticker book now. Start grabbing more things. So I can have, indeed, that same floral piece that was here, I can have it up here. Oh, it needs to be a little lower. Put it up too high. Lower still. <laughs> That's it. Oh, Mel has never done a pocket on a page and would like to try, maybe. Huzzah. What 
Are you baking, Tina? <laughs> Tina's baking does not go to plan, sounds like. So I was baking last night, and <laughs> I took a picture when I was preparing something that involved cornflakes and said, now I'm baking. Any guesses what I'm making? <laughs> and loads of people replied, fried chicken. And <laughs> this made me laugh. A, because I'm a vegetarian. B, because I was making cookies. So fried chicken was about as far as I could get <laughs> from what I was making. I was making milk bar cookies. I wonder about putting a smiley face right in the middle of that circle. Yeah, I like it. You can leave that out. It, it might be silly, but I like it. Okay. Let's look at the tops of these tags that are going to go in here. So that's going to sit like that title down here. This piece down here too. There. With um, where are the puppy stickers here? Oh, there's not an orange smiley in the puppy. There's an orange in the flat ones though. So we'll bring the orange smiley. Yeah, I know. I should have done that before I stuck it down. I know, I know. Where should it go? Go toward the inside. There. Okay. And a little word sticker across there. How do you get from cornflake to anything chicken, says Sophia. Um, so the cookies I made, yeah, cornflake cakes are a very British thing, especially with chocolate. Um, but that's, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't make them. I was trying to say, like, I quite often think in my head that I don't like them. And then I have one when I go to a child's party and I'm like, oh no, actually they're quite nice. Um, so I was making, a few weeks ago we talked about the fact that we were watching, oh, this has too much orange. Hold on. What? Too much orange? Um, we were watching The Chef Show with Jon Favreau. And one of the episodes, it's the first episode of the second series. This is on Netflix. Um, he goes to Milk Bar and she helps them make like the ultimate bake sale, like American bake sale spread. And I watched this episode and a lot of the episodes are very raw meat heavy. And so uh, it's not my favorite. But this episode was totally speaking my language. And I was like, oh, the next school bake sale. This is me. I want to rock up with that spread. So I got to learn how to make these recipes. So yesterday I made, not for the bake sale, just for first go. Um, I made the cornflake marshmallow, no, marshmallow chocolate chip cornflake cookies. And they are delish. But. Um, dun, 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 dun. Um. <laughs> so there's you well you you take the cornflakes first and you bash them up and you make what she calls cornflake crunch which is kind of like just not going to the chocolate step of making I'm trying to find one of these that works um of making the cornflake cakes that are so popular here um but be. So you take your cornflakes and you mix them with butter, sugar, salt, and malted milk, so Horlicks in this country. Um, and you mix that all up, melted butter, and then you stick it in the oven and it like infuses the cornflakes. And oh my goodness, I could have just sat there and eaten the bowl of that. It's and the fact, she talks about in the episode, she talks about a lot of bakers are afraid of salt, but you need salt to bring out flavors. She's using salt in a like 
make this as Moorish as possible kind of way because she's mixing sugar and salt. And there is that specific like pretzel cookie kind of vibe to it and I'm here for it. Is this orange maybe a different shade and it would work? Yeah, I wanted a green, but none of the green ones have the right comment. Okay, hold on. Now there is this in green and I was ignoring it, but maybe it's a pun because it's about ice cream, my journaling. So this is the scoop. Which one? Which one? Okay. Put that one back. All right, but I want this underneath. I'm pulling more stuff up. Come on, I'm gonna pull the paper up too. That's gonna sit right there. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Sorry, there we go. That's gonna sit. Is it gonna work? It's not gonna work. I <laughs> get this little gap that I don't want. Okay, the scoop one is just not the right size. Let's go back to the live it up because it is the right size. Ah, don't back with that anymore. Teresa says, is Horlicks good? I saw them drinking it a lot on the Midwives show and wanted to try it. It's it, so essentially it's like hot malted milk. Um, recipe. Okay. So I'm not going to publish a recipe. Here's what I'm going to tell you. She teaches an online class that you can sign up for. So I feel like just saying here's the recipe is, is not cool. However, what I did at this point, because the online class has a waiting list, which I'm on, <laughs> but um, um, there are a lot of people who have taken a stab at it and put that online, and then you watch the episode, because what I found was I'm pretty sure the ingredient list is accurate, but the method is 100% wrong, because she tells you in the TV show, she's like... <laughs> Here's what you need to do, and here's what home bakers get wrong, and it's the it, it's about the um, the mixing time, yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, <laughs> Rick is here chatting up like giving high huge high fives to his wife we need to know that one of his very favorite memories is that the two of them went to Italy to see where his dad grew up and then for Christmas she made him a scrapbook of it well done well done China girl <laughs> um dun 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 Mel. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to find. Somebody says, I think that Horlicks is a little different to something else, but I can't figure out what you're saying. It's different too. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's closest to Ovaltine. That's probably, I think you can get Ovaltine in the States, can't you? Or did I imagine that? Okay, see the title. Is it funny to spell out orange in pink? <laughs> Have you got a bird pun for me or an orange pun? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Mel, um, yeah, so Ovaltine is the closest to Horlicks, yeah. There's not a lot of difference in them, yeah. But also, 
if you live here and you're like, why is it that places have the, why is it, uh, why do Americans talk about like chocolate malts and things like that in their milkshakes? And we don't have that. Just put Horlicks in your milkshake and infinitely better. <laughs> so there we go. Um, Melinda, soon, but I have to close the doors on everything that's open at the moment. So nothing until that's done. Uh, it won't be long, but um, <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I need orange or bird puns. Tweet instead of sweet. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's see. This is going to be such a bizarre title, but it's okay. It, sometimes, sometimes that's all right. It's just, well, it's always all right if it makes sense to you. Sometimes a title makes sense in your mind. It's not catchy. It's not. But the journaling on this is very nostalgic. And it's all about childhood, happy childhood memories. So I'm just going to call it Orange Memories. And I'm all right with that. Okay, but what I'm not happy with is that placement. I wanted it over here. But I was deciding as I went, so I didn't spell it backwards. Uh, and I know I've just written orange in pink. It's one of those, those mind games. But it's okay. There's a lot of orange on the page. And then my little letters... Just went right past. There we go. Haha, <laughs> oh, I do love that, Claire. Peeling great. <laughs> Fruit puns. Oh, but the one thing that, that is worth knowing, and there's a link to it in the description box, is that a new group of people are doing an older class. And they are doing layer by layer, uh, or layer on layer on layer on layer. The layering class, that's what they're doing. Um, and so it's linked in the description because you might want to join in with them if you like. They're a group um, who hang out on the forum at Simple Scrapper. Um, and they decided to do that class together. So it, anything that I do once it's, once it's finished its live run just be, stays available as a self-paced class and you can just go in and, and, and access it at whatever pace and whatever order you want to do. And that, has, um, that is, is going on now. So if you wanted to join them, you certainly could. And then we talked, somebody has mentioned in this album discussion on Instagram this week, about should I like revisit cover to cover? So cover to cover is my album philosophy class. Like how does my album system work for me and all of that. There's only one big thing that has changed since that class. It is quite an old class now. There's only one big philosophical change and that's um, that I when I was doing that class, I was at a point where I printed almost every photo I took. I just ordered them all as four by six prints. Um, yeah, that was before I had a child. It turns out I take a lot more photos um, because I have a munchkin around. So I don't print everything now. Um, also, it was, it's, it's a combination of the fact that I take all those extra photos and um, so my my photography style has changed or, or how often and how many photos I take has changed also um, 
my storage has changed. I used to use this dresser that had um, these four drawers that were perfect for storing this it's seemingly infinite number of four by six prints. And I don't use that anymore. My storage capacity is much smaller. So I, um, I don't do that. Now, I need, the, the title is a little bit empty here. So I want some stickers and things to go into this space. Oh, and I had the puffies. I haven't added puffy texture yet. Let's have all the different textures and I've got enamel dots. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna come over here. It is very nearly done now, but not quite. I know this is long. Um, uh oh, is that you coming up to say you need to go do a call? Okay, <laughs> give me two minutes. I'm finished. <laughs> I ran over my allotted time. It's okay. But we can do a floral layer in here. with a puffy there to bring in the orange, yeah. And a floral piece on the other side with big orange flower in it. Not sure if I want that over or under. I think under. Yeah, might be over for now. I'll try and fix it later. Okay. Enamel dots. Journaling's all going in there. And we're gonna do groupings of one orange, one green, one yellow. Did this in the wrong combination. Hold on. Okay. There. And then I think one in here somewhere here. Like that. Yes. Does it need gold as well? <laughs> it might get some gold after I do the journaling. <laughs> okay, I'm really pleased with that actually. Um, right, uh, oh, there was a question. Was everything okay? With, oh, was everything okay with WB on Friday? Yes, it, it was a call from the school, but it was a courtesy call and they left a message. And um, he's grown really, really quickly, like he's still really short, but he grew in about an inch in a month and he keeps falling over because he doesn't know where his legs land. <laughs> And so at their school, if they, um, if they fall over, they give you a courtesy call to say, he's fine, he's fine, but he did fall or hit his head or whatever. So um, I feel like I'm on speed dial at the moment. <laughs> right, so this is pretty much it. There's going to be journaling back here and um, there might be some gold mist along there, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yes, right. Let's do a thumbnail. Oh, oh, don't, this page, I might, okay, so this white cardstock that I started using is a little lighter than the other one, and so, I don't know, anyway. Thank you so much for coming to watch Friday Live. I'll be not live, but here on Monday. So come same time, same bat channel, and, and experience something a little bit different. Same kit, same goods, we're all good. See you then. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, I'd, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And um, if, um, if you want to go shopping, you can click those links. But, but mostly, have a wonderful, inspiring, creative weekend, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye!